So in the second half of this <clears throat> video, we're going to have a look at how to just edit and um, change, create our own toolbars and to be able to make them work the way that we want to for customization. Now, what we're really talking about is understanding them as well, understanding what they do, understanding their functionality. Now, if you haven't sort of used them before, that, that's going to take a bit of time to do. So I, I, while I suggest, while I recommend that once you've used Archicad for a while, you might want to customize it, don't go rushing in and just deleting everything or changing everything. Definitely don't just edit existing ones, but create your own. Try that out and try to learn through the process what each of these tools does its function so you can be able to use it um, the most effective way possible. Now what we're talking about right at the moment is just screen real estate, how to make it more effective and um, using up less space. So to we're going to turn off the mini navigator, we're not going to use that, we've already got our big navigator so we don't need the mini navigator. We're not going to use that. We're not going to use our uh, Australian drafting aids. The only one, like I said, that I would use normally is this one, Offset Constraints, but we're actually going to create a new standard toolbar, and then we're going to add this Offset Constraints into that one. Uh, the other one that was standard was our Annotate. We're going to turn that one off as well, and we've already created the Move toolbar. So how do we do this? How do we make a new one? We're just going to leave these on the screens, and I've just expanded them. I've just grabbed it and stretched it just so we can see the names because it helps we understand what we're turning on and what we're turning off. So down in the toolbars again, to the bottom, this allows us to go to our toolbar options, and we're going to make a new toolbar. Now when I'm making videos, just as a bit of a preface, I, I'm speaking quite quickly and I'm going through it quite quickly, but because it's a video, you can pause it, you can rewind it, and you can watch it again. So I'm going to go quickly just so the videos don't take too long, because I'll already talk forever as it is, uh, but always go back and have a look again to try to, um, yeah, if you pick up, if, you're miss, if you've missed something, go back and pick up on what I've done. So we're going to duplicate. We're going to start with our, not 3D visualization, but our standard. We also have a standard low res. We're going to start with our standard and we're going to edit that. Let's just have a quick look at the difference between our standard and our standard for low res. We see that this is pretty useful. This obviously has more tools. Let's start with the standard. We're going to go duplicate toolbar and we're going to call this my standard <laughs> and I'm going to just do this in capitals again like these names are a bit silly I'm aware again I'm using capitals just so they stand out and of course the point is that this is customizing for how you want to use it so you may not agree with what I'm doing now uh, that's okay uh, you can do it exactly how you want to do it now this one here is just a spacer that's really a waste of time we're not going to do that I'm also not going to use the undo sorry I'm not going to keep that one uh, what do we want on our toolbar the point is we can get these tools anywhere so we just want it to be things that we absolutely need I'm going to delete that delete that delete that find and select is a fantastic tool it's changed quite a bit in the last two versions of Archicad version 2021 and it makes it a little bit trickier to use basically because there's more settings which is pretty common for Archicad a lot of settings sometimes a bit complicated um, Edit selection set, not going to be using that. Pick up parameters, I'm not going to be using that because that's just my alt key. Remove, and I'm not going to use inject parameters because that's my, on a Mac, alt command key. So I don't need that one. I don't need this one. Now these ones are fantastic. These tools are really well set up in a toolbar and I'm definitely going to keep them because this allows us to expand and, and change the settings. That's a fantastic tool, apart from just being a, an on-off. Now, there's a grid snap tool. I actually hate the grid snap tool, so I'm most definitely going to remove that. Now, if you've got grids and you're using grids, that might be useful, but it's not something that I like very much. Editing plane. Editing plane is very useful. Again, it's not something that I use all that much, and I definitely, therefore, don't want it in this toolbar, taking up space. Trace used to be called Ghost in a much older version of Archicad. This is a fantastic tool. We're definitely going to keep that. Gravity allows us to place something on a ground surface or on a surface, so that's definitely 
good. Whether we need to have it on, that's up to you. I'll leave it there for now because it's not taking up that much real estate. Element, snap, remove that. Measure tool, never use that. I do measure, but I use a line tool to measure. Remove that. Set user origin. This has been something that's been around for a very long time. Realistically, I've maybe one time found a use for that. Otherwise, it's really not necessary and it can create lots of problems. Remove that. Again, it's just a spacer. Remove that. Trim, great tool, but I can find that very easy using my command bar. Remove that. Split, fantastic tool. I don't know the keyboard shortcut for split, particularly on a Mac. I used to work on a PC and um, there was more command options which were single keys, uh, but it's not anymore. Don't want that. I don't use adjust. Intersect, fantastic. Fillet, fantastic. Resize, fantastic. Trim elements to roof shell. This is good. Um, we'll keep that one there. Remove the spacer. Suspend groups, fantastic. I use that all the time. Show hide markup tool, don't use it very much. Show hide change manage, don't use that very much. 3D cutaway, I use it, but I don't use it that much to justify its use here. 3D cutting planes toolbar, so I'll remove that as well. So we see that we've reduced this down heaps. We've removed a lot of stuff that we don't need very much. Now there are some that we might put back in. If I go to my move command, um, one that's not here, which I use all the time. So we have a resize, but we don't have the stretch command. So let's find that. Edit. We used move before. The other one that I would recommend that we'll be using a lot is under reshape. So like I said, I already got rid of trim. Um, and we kept split. And there's resize, but they don't have stretch. I use stretch all the time. So let's put that next to resize. Offset's a good tool. Um, it's not necessarily the one that I use and we don't need to worry too much about any of those. I also don't care too much about explode into current view because we can just right click to do that. Um, and it's good but it can very easily get confused between suspend group and so I don't accidentally want to suspend some or oh, sorry, explode something instead of suspending it. So therefore, I'm not going to use it. Now, what I was saying before, under our drafting aids, one of the tools that I use all the time is called offset. And so if we go to all commands in alphabetical order, <laughs> we're going to find that under O, offset, offset constraints, and we'll just drag and drop that into our list. We'll put that at the very end uh, just so we know where to find it um, and OK. So now we've got that. It's not going to be turned on. Option, sorry, Windows, Toolbars, My Standard. Let's turn it on. It's going to place it all the way up here and we see we've shrunk that down massively. We no longer need the Standard Toolbar. We can delete that. We're not going to use the annotate toolbar at the moment. We can delete that. We'll talk more about annotate toolbar later. We no longer need the Australian drafting aids because we have the one that I think is most useful, which is the offset tool. And we have the move, and I could actually add this to the standard toolbar, but of course there's not much need. I can just add it here. And so they're beside each other. So we've massively reduced the amount of setting or tools that we have available in that toolbar and of course I've got all this extra real estate that I could add more tools in if I needed it and we might look at that later. Now it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing documentation, if I'm doing design, if I'm doing visualization, I'll be working on different things more than others. That's all I need for now. I can reduce the size of this slightly, ever so slightly to give me a bit more space. But we're now back to a point where we're very clean. We've got as much real estate back as we want. Now I could um, set my side toolbar, you'll note in, um, in my Apple operating system, I like this on the left rather than down the bottom. It just clears up a bit of space in ArchiCAD. I could select that to hide, but I find that's a little bit awkward with the way that ArchiCAD works. So that's all I want at the moment. Um, I've currently set up my work environment for the way that I want it to be. So we will save that. We're not going to save everything at the moment. We're just going to save the file. File, save. Now that's going to keep it, as long as I don't shut down the file and open up a different file, it's going to keep all these settings here. And then a few videos later, we're then going to save the template and save the workspace. Um, settings so then we can use them on other projects. That's the end for this video.